Hi guys, it's Richard from Grappling Dragon Fruits and today I'm going to show you guys how to store and freeze pollen so that way you can preserve it and use it for later in the year or even maybe next season. So here is the Vietnam white pollen that I collected from my dragon fruit yesterday night. If you haven't seen the video of how I collected the pollen, go ahead and go to my channel and check that video out so that way you can see how I collect pollen. Um, what I did after I collected the pollen was I left it on the stainless steel plate to dry for 24 hours. You want to make sure to dry your pollen before you freeze them. It's very important that they are dry. If you leave any type of moisture into them and then you put it into your jar, condensation happens and when condensation happens, they freeze and your pollen no longer becomes viable. So it's very important to not skip that step. I just leave it into this plate. I put it into my home in my kitchen somewhere and I just let it air dry in my kitchen table and the next morning is when I start this process. So some uh, supplies that I use to store it is a airtight mason jar. Airtight because you don't want anything to get in it like moisture. Uh, I have some silica packs. These just help keep humidity out. So I like to use them. Um, you can get them on Amazon. I just recycle them from my dress shirts that I find in the, the bags. And then I just use them for times like these. And I got some freezer Ziploc bags. It's important that you do get these freezers kind because it's gonna get frostbite if you don't. So let's go ahead and store the pollen. So the first step is of course, you're gonna want to gather your pollen and then go ahead and put it into your mason jar. We're gonna do some tap, get that pollen in there, just like that. Now once all your pollen is in your mason jar, go ahead and tighten your jar really well. And now, this is when we're going to use our Ziploc bags. What I'm going to do is put my mason jar into the bag. And now I'm going to put the decusin packs in there. I like to use two. I'll put one in the front and one in the back. And then when I close this bag, I make sure all the air is pressed out. Just like this. And now, my second Ziploc bag. I'm gonna also put it in here, just like that. And again, with two decusin packs, one in the front, and my second one in the back. Again, the reason why I do this is to keep the humidity out. I don't want any type of moisture to get into my pollen because if it does that, it's at risk of killing it. So, I'm gonna make sure that they stay dry and airtight just like this. So some things about the pollen, if you're gonna be using it, if you're gonna be putting in your freezer, make sure when you take it out to warm it up to room temperature. I like to leave it and just sit it on the counter for about 20 to 30 minutes. I take a look at it and make sure that there's no condensation happening in there. Cause if you open it while it's still cold, the hot air gets in there, condensation gets in there, moisture gets in there and it's just all bad from there. So just be careful, be patient. Um, let it get to room temperature before you start using it. And once you're done using it, you can go ahead and then store it back into your freezer. So I'm going to be putting in there. And that's it guys. If uh, you guys found this helpful and you like what you saw, please like, comment if you have any question, and subscribe. Thank you guys. Bye.